We're up here, Gutami, the number one player from Europe. And of course, Shutan, one of the best players coming out from Japan. Best Olimar in the world. So let's see what we have here today, man. And I, I, I feel like this matchup's bad. I know um, it's just like, this is another exam like another situation where Wario, actually, maybe not. No, no, I take that back. I, I it's, it's really hard for me because there's, there's situations where Olimar gets so much damage on Wario, but Wario has such great air drift and he has a lot of tools to just get in on to onto Olimar, right? And the thing about uh, Olimar up smash is that it has item priority. So yes. if you're falling with an aerial that has enough like hitbox on, underneath it, like you'll just go right through the up smash and you'll like trample over it and then hit Olimar. I mean, it sounds like the exact scenario that we might be seeing Gluttony try and work for. But at the same time, uh, Gluttony is a little bit more aggressive than the, the previous warrior that we saw. Oh, yes. And Shutan is very good at putting up a defensive wall. Yeah, exactly. And, I mean, like, Olimar's just going to have a lot of great tools, especially when the purples are online. Uh, the, the side B is just going to make it very hard for Gluttony to close in horizontally. You're going to probably have to make him full jump or burn double jump to go up and over these uh, Pikmin. And just like that, Shutan going to take that first dog. Using the bike as his own projectile. Let me making sure that Shutan has a little time making it back to stage. Up air does connect. Ooh, the Ooh. foot, though, off stage. And that's going to be a the first stock here. And Gutni only taking very little damage here. And that damage is kind of disappearing as well as the command guard lands. Hey, ooh, wow, forward air right into the grab. With the bike taking the hit there for Wario. There's the up throw on the bike. Oh, up tilt. Wow, that, that was a really good up tilt coming out from Gusini, but really good avoidance coming out from Shutan as well. Another up tilt coming out from Gluttony, but who's going to whiff? Okay, kicking these Pikmin, clapping on them as well. Similar to our previous set, we've seen Gluttony making use of these platforms when it comes to his approaches to Shutan. Oh, yeah, it's just a great area to reset, but there is the waft. But again, like I said, since Shutan was on the right side of the stage, he DI'd the up tilt to the left. Got walking to the left and still lost his thought. Yep, running out of gas. That's a problem that not every character has to face, but Shutan does. Yeah, that recovery did get nerfed in the uh, the, the patch that Olmar got hit, and that's one of the things that were really big that got uh, that hit. Okay, but another back air connects. You see Shutan swinging with his purple Pikmin. Yeah, he definitely needs this stock here. Oh, but the up throw from the blue Pikmin that will be the kill throw. And wow, man, that that blue Pikmin got the stock. Oh man. That blue Pikmin got the stock for shoots on, and then he just tossed him to the side. He threw him right off the stage. Commander I'm done with no you. remorse. I'm no done remorse. with you. <laughs> I'd rather have the purple Pikmin that's up next. <laughs> Damn. You've done your job. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> you can retire now. <laughs> Wait, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good P reversal. He's going to put a little bit of damage and make up. Jeez. How is Glutiny at 123? Power of purple, baby. We were just, we just, I felt like I, we were just started talking about the blue Pikmin, and all of a sudden my man's at like 120 plus. I mean, you can't just, you can't focus on one Pikmin. That's, you know, that's a lesson that Shuton's really trying to teach us and everyone at home. These purple Pikmin, they are tough to deal with, and yeah. they are not to be forgotten. All right, so the max rage here on the Gluten Eater, can he make it happen? I'm pretty sure the half walk is going to be, or it's online now, or it should be online soon. There's the up tilt into the half walk just as I speak, but. He is alive! Shutan's DI is crazy. But that blue Pikmin is online. Is he gonna grab him? No, no what? Was what that blue? What? I think that was blue. That, what? I, I, I don't know. Okay, well, blue Pikmin is still in the rotation. Yes, right there. And Gluttony knew that the blue Pikmin was there with the spot dodge to avoid the grab. And right now, he's got the deadly duo, man. The yeah, blue Pikmin oh. needed a down tilt into dash attack. Cross stage. With the max rage is still enough to take out Shuton after Shuton DIs incredibly with the wobs and stuff. It was so so close, but Gluttony was able to survive. Man, he's, that guy was at like 190 percent. Wario is a very very heavy man. That's right. Of course, Shuton not exactly feeling the same weight. Definitely a weight class of its own. Oh yeah, Olimar. <laughs> Big yikes. Yeah, that's I was also surprised that he lived the the waft. Even though it was like center stage, like, damn. Okay, well, getting into game two, Olimar versus Wario. All right, yeah, and I mean, a game that definitely looked like Shuton had it in the bag. 
sneaky, sneaky Wario, man. Came back, and he didn't even sneak it back with the waft. Like, he technically waft, waft it for damage, but he, he got the kill at, with the down tilt dash stack. Around 110, 120-ish percent. Like, damn. From across stage, nonetheless, using a command grab to make up a little bit of damage, but really just for stage control. Yeah, and Gluttony really just showing that, you know, sometimes Wario doesn't necessarily need WAP to get the stocks, you know what I mean? Sometimes you can just, like, get killed regularly. Wario still has a bunch of solid confirms, especially that down tilt into the dash attack, that can kill you. Okay, dashing into shoot time, but going to get buried out. Okay, ooh, falling forward there. And chipping away at each other, both players at around the same percent. But wow, the parry into the purple up smash, killing Gluttony very, very early. Okay, directional air dodging off stage and taking his time, making it back. Gluttony not able to set up a trap, but good spot dodge into F tilt will keep Shuton off stage. Trying to set up for this back air, but Shuton dip, weave, and diving all over the place to double up smash in the forward air. 50% already, and counting Shuton is keeping the pressure going. Yeah, Shuton was even able to like get a slight dash with uh, between the first and second up smash just to make sure he's in the correct position to land the forward air that follows up. And the white pigment gets slapped on, but the white Pikmin is the one with the lowest amount of health, so it slaps up pretty easily. Oh, the purple Pikmin. Yeah, you see, Shuton used the whistle to save that, because that's how important these purple Pikmin are. Okay, the purple Pikmin is next in line, but the yellow Pikmin and the up smash going to whiff. And you see Shuton just randomly throwing out that up air there. He's actually rotating his line. That's what. That's the purpose of that. So uh, every time you just do your one of your aerials, that, that is going to rotate the lineup by one. And just like that, Shuton will get the Gimp on the Glutoni. And man, this is looking really grim. Three stocks to one, but let's see if Gluten can just wipe off this stock very, very quickly, and he does. Yeah, the falling down air is enough to push you on off stage. He still has an entire dock, stock deficit to make up. So that white pick oh, with a combination of a, a couple up airs is going to push Gluten in a very high percent in just a matter of seconds. That is always a feels bad when you have like a, a couple Pikmin lacks on you and then you start getting comboed from Olimar. Like, he took so much damage, but there's the up tilt into the full WAP. That will center stage no matter what. That is going to take the stock there, and no DI is going to save shoots on from that. That's right. Another up air. We're using the whistle in case that up tilt or that up air does connect. We're going to whistle again. No, throwing out a down air to try and challenge the, the offensive options coming up from Gluttony. A back throw. And now shoots on finds himself off stage. Ooh, good spot dodge. Up throw is going to take it, man. Wario, not fat enough for that one. And I mean, Gluttony did use the uh, the waft to equalize the second stock, but he still had to just pretty much beat him outright. That last stock, Shuton just going to wait for his opening, make sure the right pigment's on the lineup. You know, that blue pigment. I mean, it's not the same blue pigment, right? It's not the same exact blue pigment, <laughs> but it must have been a descendant because <laughs> he was just performing just like his ancestor. Yeah, yeah he, I mean, he got the up throw. He got the stock, man. No, that pigment likes to party. They all like to, like, At least that one didn't get retired, too. you know. He's yeah. still on the lineup, man. The Hall of Fame. Yeah. <laughs> That's where that one's going. <laughs> All right, so Shuton going to even this one up. 1-1 one, one here. So going into this game, number three, we'll see what stage we are fighting on. Of course, this is Switch Fest, losers, quarters. Whoever loses this one's going to go out at uh, fifth place. And, you know, every one of these players that are in the top 12, they came here to win. So right. uh, I know there's a lot of players that are like, yeah, man, like fifth place, that would be hype. Like all these guys, they're, for the most part, I mean, might not be like super salty about, but they, they definitely have first in mind. They want that first place. Oh, especially when the gold medal is so close, it just gets that much tastier. Oh yeah, for sure. Both these players starting it off very, very even here. Both players sitting in shield as well. Oh wow. Gonna get that down throw. Ooh, swatting him right off the bike. Goes double jump high. Shuton gonna go wrap it right back to the ledge here. What's the pressure? Gluttony just fighting his way out of the corner. Oh, even spot dodging right after the command grab whip. You know, typically Shuton's been very, very uh, quick with the back air out of shields. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I love how um, Shuton just utilizes his back air in general and combine that with like a purple Pikmin back here, it's so, so deadly. Shuton had to ditch one of his purples, had to use it on the defense here, but it looks like he picks up another one here. Yeah, he's trying to snipe out Gluttony again. Not able going to, not the, not the sniper he was in the previous game, but a very good mix up Nair into down smash. Yeah, gonna catch the spot dodge, I believe, there. And everybody loves spot dodging in this game, but very, very good. I did not know that was a thing, man. Nair right into the down smash. What a kill setup coming out from Olimar. Very smooth indeed. Up smash, not really reaching these platforms, but good amount of shield pressure. Still able to get that shield grab. Yeah, that, that was a uh, good stuff on Shuton utilizing that uh, 
especially the yellow up smash, covers so far behind him, but Rooney was ready for that. And Ruto gets the down air and gets the edge guard here on Shutong. Okay, White Pikmin is on latched on, but let me make quick work of that. Getting clapped on, man. Ooh, even getting rid of that red Pikmin. Okay, ooh, okay, what's the play here? And you couldn't really punish him too hard out of shield there because he wasn't facing him. But man, look at all this damage, 38% and counting. Gutni is keeping the pressure on. More importantly than the damage is the positioning of the stage. It took the shoot time from one side of the stage to the other. He even put him in a ledge trap. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure the waft is, yeah, the, the full waft is online here for Gudo. Okay, gonna up B, go high, and I love that. He, he goes high, throws out the air, and just drifts straight back to the right there. Really good uh, mix up there on the air drift. We're using the dash attack to cross up two times, now just running him over. Oh, wow, I love that. The up B to the ledge and was quick enough to get the uh, ledge drop double jump Nair. Okay, that's full cool. waft is back. Back air just take a Pikmin, but that's not what his target was. Definitely uh, Almar going to low profile under that one. But the down air coming in clutch and trying to set up the bike here. But WoW gets pushed back by the purple Pikmin. Yeah, interesting. The purple Pikmin was enough to actually shift the positioning of the bike. And the back air from Triton does connect. 105% you make Letton. You know exactly what the for. He's trying to poke his ankles. Yep. And there it is, but not enough rage there. And man, Shuton get, gets another stock with back air. The neutral B, is that going to be it? No, Shuton still alive here. Double purple to make sure that Pluto is not in a position to actually try and get a, a ledge trap. Yep, using these purples. Look at that. You just pressuring his opponent even though he's off stage and just making it so Pluto has to respect him when he's recovering. It's so another matching on these other Pikmin as Pluto takes his time wow. making it back towards Shuton. He took 90%. 90% thanks to those latched Pikmin. Jeez, man. He, that was a cross stage. Like, that wasn't all true combo, but like, just a, a handful of resets. But, jeez, man, that was so much damage. Oh, Zeta Pikmin. But to what avail, the purple Pikmin strike back, and Shuton will go ahead and take that game number three. Can't be eating those Pikmin for free. Yeah. There's a price. There is a price to pay, man. And you know what? The the Pikmin brethren, the, the re revenge <laughs> kill, man. <laughs> gotta, you got to you gotta revenge kill the home or for, for the homies. For the homies, for the homies, yeah. for the homies man. That's like when someone uh, takes out your homie in bracket and then you beat him. You beat the guy that took out your homie in bracket and you're like, dude, don't worry, dude. I got you. I got, I got you, bro. Sure. Yeah, I'm sure those that purple Pikmin went back, <laughs> put a frame, framed a picture of that yellow Pikmin oh, like, we'll always remember. Yeah. <laughs> Never forget. <laughs> Never forget. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so game number four here. We'll see if Gutni can bring this to a game number five, but it is looking rough, man. And it, it's just crazy because it's, it's tough for Gluttony to get in, but it's also tough for Gluttony when, when Shuton gets a little bit of momentum, man. He'll just start going in on him. It just it takes so much damage. Wario is a heavier character, so he'll live very long. But since he's also in that heavier weight class, he does get comboed very, very hard. As you can see right there, it's just a Nair, falling Nair into an up tilt. Oh, but man. He but he answers right back. Of course, Wario has a few combos of his own, you know, some some ghetto fox combos. You got the up to up airs and all that. Hey, yeah, you can call them ghetto as much as you want. They work. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's the neutral B healing just a tad bit. Coming in with the forward air, and wow. Shuton had the parry, but it looked like he buffered just like a reposition. Down smash, not going to connect. There's another parry into the pivot grab. That was so clean because from the parry, he had to reposition himself for that grab. And the, since the blue Pikmin was the next on the lineup, he couldn't just go for a smash attack. He needed to grab for the kill. That was such a good play coming out from Shuton. The Pikmin management has always been on point for Shuton, but I love when those little, in, uh, those little transactions are just like that where... Uh, we really get to see it coming for super wish. Yeah, it's just like, man, when you see stuff like that, you're like, damn, Teton is very He's good. good this game. <laughs> like, jeez, <laughs> doing stuff like that. Lutney trying to make it back. F smash wow. connects. Lutney on his last stock. We don't even have full walk yet. The forward smash is, oh no. You, it, that, that's the worst is when you're getting comboed from the, the yellow Pikmin. Because the electric properties, it actually has more hit stun. Yeah, it's not. It's, you get up smashed by a yellow Pikmin, it's custom combo time. Mm -hmm. It's whatever I feel like. This is the training lab. This is exactly what I practice for. Into imaginary, but Gluttony gonna catch that landing. We see that a lot from Shuton. We see the up behind. He he fakes that he's gonna hard drift left. He gets off of it, nares, and then it drifts off to the right. Gluttony catching onto that, gonna take the first stock. 
off of him, but man, it might be a little too late. He's already on his last stock. But another up smash connects, and guess what? That was a yellow Pikmin. Yeah. We saw the up air approaching. Now where's the back air from? Run Tuton. You know he's going. He's looking for that back air with that purple. Bluto definitely needs the young waft set up right about now. Uh, Shuton at that perfect percentage up tilt. Not going to connect. Shuton just going right onto that platform. Okay, there's the back air. Not enough to actually put Gluttony in the blast zone. Boy, was it close. Oh man, the dash attack, but he gets a sour hit. Trying to get this back air off stage. Gluttony trying to make something work. The angle down forward tilt doesn't take him quite far. But all oh, the, the forward air. Sour air. spot. So unfortunate for Gluto. Oh, there's another forward tilt. He's doing a really good job with all this ledge driving, all this offstage. He's not getting the sweet spots, but at least he's keeping him there. Another grab, the ledge trap, and the edge guarding continues here for Gluto. He continues to go offstage, making it very difficult to tell when he's actually going to pull the trigger. Is he going to throw out the forward air? And there it was. Last stock for Gluto, 141%, almost max rate. Can he make a waft happen? Yes, and the big asterisk here is he's made the comeback on the second stop oh, without oh. the waft. Do we have the setup? He goes for the reset, but shoots on swings back. Such a smart swing. Most of the time, players will start getting hit, especially with against a Wario who has full waft, and they start to panic. Shoots on, keeping his composure, and the charge S smash at the ledge. And that is going to take it there for shoots on. 3 1 over Gutini, uh, the best player in Europe. Very, very big win for Shuton and Glutini 